Hello everyone. I'm starting my video. My live video. I hope everyone is I'm going to move this. Okay. Starting, starting, starting. Okay. Check out what I'm going to do. Tap to invite you. Hello. Yes. Hello, Yan. Yan. I love 20,000 viewers. <laughs> And we want to reach 15 million viewers for this day for our live FB um, training for I Am Unstoppable Team. So we're, give, we're um, very, I am very, very pleased to be um, one of this team, this biggest team po na I am worldwide. I would like to give my gratitude po kay mentor Jean, our mother mentor who always believe in all individuals of our team and also our mother mentors mentor Rowan mentor um, Hannah mentor Lily Bell grand mentors Ryan and mentor Sheila grand mentor Sheila thank you for allowing me and giving me the opportunity to talk um are uh, this this live no nakaka-excite kasi um nakaka-gain tayo ng knowledge at the same time we're sharing this knowledge para at least maging mas maganda yung um learning natin learning experiences natin sa bawat isa so is my voice okay guys meron pa ako 3 minutes eh hello amazing morning po mentor Jean Hi, Mentor Mark. Hello, Mentor Marlito. Waving, waving from abroad. <laughs> from Bahrain, yes po. Kay Mentor Nika from Bulacan. Hello, Grand Mentor Ryan. Hello po. Thank you, Mentor Mark, for um, giving me a very good tea up from yesterday. So, yun. Um, allow me, Mentors, to give you information no and knowledge open lang dapat yung mind natin so everyday training is a must for our business so always smile so that um the world will smile back at you so yun siya okay ba yung ano natin internet walang sagabal okay naman ang ating ang aking voice okay amazing morning okay clear mens thank you i am jane I am Jane. <laughs> Hello po, Mentor Noe. Okay, we still have two minutes left. Clear. Thank you. Hi, Mentor Buddy, Mentor Wilfred, Mentor Jonathan. Ayun pala. Meron pala siya icon ng wave, no? So, this is my first time to do a live FB. So, iba talaga yung feeling. Yung kasi nag-vlog din ako. So, eto talaga nakakatuwa. Ayan, yung wave ko kayo. At ako yung parang bata. We still have one minute left, guys. So, we have 24 million. Ayan na, grabe, ang dami. Nakakatuwa. <laughs> so, always um give learning po for everyone to know that you have the desired uh, na matuto. Hello po, Mentor Rika, Mentor Lerma, Mentor NJ. Hello, Sir Neil. Hello, Philippines. Hello, amazing people and amazing mentors. So, I'll start now. Okay. So, ano yung ma ma -impart, ma impart ko sa inyo, guys? This is one of a skill na kailangan natin sa business natin. Okay? This is reading skills. This is the best um, skill na ma mapapamana rin natin sa ibang tao, lalo na sa mga anak natin. Kasi reading is a means of communication by the writer to the viewers, okay? It also, ano pa yung mga advantages? Siyempre, may inspire niya yung ibang tao. At the same time, magiging imaginative 
magiging imaginative ang taong nagbabasa nito. And also, scientific fact na reading is uh, helps us in in growing, no? Kapag matanda ka na kasi magkakaroon ka na Alzheimer's. Kapag nagka-Alzheimer's ka, yun yung pagwawala, pawawala-wala ng mga memories mo. So, it's a good thing for you to read. Okay, hindi yun ang topic ko. Binigyan ko na ng intro. <laughs> ang topic, oops, sorry. Ang topic natin for today na i-discuss ko is about um, having financial literature. Lit, magiging literate tayo sa financial, no? With regards to money. Kasi we're in a business, eh. We should be knowledgeable kung anong pinasok natin. Kung ano yung kaakibat, anong commitment, anong advantages ang meron tayo sa pagkakaroon natin ng business. Okay? This is a good and interesting topic. Okay? I'll be discussing Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. This, he is one of my inspiration dito sa business na to. Nindulge ko yung sarili ko para magbasa ng nakaka, nakaka-learn, no? Maglo-learn tayo at the same time magagawa natin siya sa business natin which is very, very applore, ap- ap- appealing sa para sa sarili natin and para sa iba. Okay, start na tayo. So, Robert Kiyosaki is an inspirational entrepreneur. Motivational speaker din siya. So, better read his content, his references, because yung books na binibigay niya um, gives you more, um, yun, yung bibigay siya, magbibigay siya ng mga points and then i-explain niya sa you further with comparison, no? With his experience. So, which dad, poor dad, is one of the best book na pwede natin basahin as starting sa business. Okay? So, you rich dad and poor dad, you will define there kagad kung ano yung mindset, positive mindset na kailangan mo, um, reasoning mo, kung paano mo um, nakikita yung pera. And, ang um, comparison niya sa rich dad and poor dad. So, si dad, si rich dad is um, the best friend, the dad of his best friends, Mike. No? Siya yung, nam- siya yung pinaka-risk pinaka richest pa richest man in Hawaii pero 8th grader lang ang tinapos niya ang nakaka nakaka ano doon striking is the ang definition niya ng poor dad is his biological father biological father niya is um PhD graduate guys government employee and he doesn't know about dealing with money so nine nine years old si um, Robert he was asked he was asking his dad na dad paano paano kumita ng pera bakit tayo mahirap anong gagawin natin sabi hindi na consume na overwhelmed na si daddy si poor dad sabi niya don't talk to me i'm only a graduate graduate of phd i don't know about money i'm i don't know what to say to you so kausapin mo yung daddy ni Michael di ba marami yung assets Yan, dino ba pasok yung mga topic natin na magaganda. I'll give you five tips that um I saw and read about um this book. Okay. Number 1, bumili ng asset instead of liabilities. Okay. Being in this field of accounting, so kailangan ko rin yan. <laughs> Naintindihan ko na siya dati pa, pero hindi ko siya ina-apply. Okay, what is an asset? Okay, an asset is a, um, a thing na eventually, in a long period of time, it will increase its value. Okay, ano ang liability? Ito ang word na utang. Okay, ang utang is kung maglalabas ka ng pera out of your pocket. So, ang asset, papasok ka ng pera inside your pocket. Okay? ang liability, utang, or, hindi natin sabi rin negative kagad ng utang, pero, maglalabas ka ng pera outside of your pocket. And, it it is not a value in a long period of time. Examples, assets. Asset would be businesses. You engage to business. You'll invest in stock markets, yan. And, um, ipaparent mo yung apartment mo, or yung bahay mo, or yung car mo, okay? Ang liabilities is more on um, bibili ka 
ng cellphone na paka mahal na 50,000 iPhone, eh wala ka pang budget sa bangko. Gets? Bibili ka ng mamahaling kotse, pero hindi mo naman kailangan. ba? Diba? Yun ang liabilities. Maglalabas ka ng pera. Okay? Sabi dito is that um, ang riso, ang sabi ng, ng rich dad, dad is pag pumasok ang income mo, no, ito yung sa rich tayo, rich perspective, kapag pumasok yung income mo, dapat ipapasok mo kagad siya sa liabil, sa, sorry, sa asset or sa business mo para lumago yung pera mo. Okay? Ganon ang mindset ng mga rich people. Ang liability or ang mga ang mga poor people, poor, poor, sir, poor dad naman, sabi naman niya is, ang kapag pumasok na yung income mo, anong ginagawa natin? Bayad utang, expenses. So, income, papasok siya liabilities, kasi magbabayad ka ng mga expenses mo. Pag magbayad ka ng expenses mo, magugulat ka, wala ka ng pera. Ito, example natin, isa pa. Kunyari, um, ako, ang sinusweldo ko is 40,000. Tapos yung kapatid ko, 20,000. Focus kasi tayo mainly sa income na makukuha natin. Eh. So, ang iniisip natin, ay sorry, mas mataas ang sahod ko sa'yo, mas malaki kita ko. No, because even though na different yung salary nyo or income nyo, pareho pa rin kayo ng expenses kasi the higher yung, yung income mo, tataas yung lifestyle mo. Okay? So, i-avoid natin ang hindi pag-iipon. Okay? Um, nakakatawang isipin na yung ibang tao takot mag-invest, no? Kasi sabi nila, huwag ka mag-invest sa stock market scam yan. Di ba? Huwag ka mag-business, naku, baka ma-field ka, ganyan. So, we should be open with those opportunities na pwede natin i-grab so that we'll know na eventually, makukuha din naman natin yung kailangan natin kapag ginawa natin yung mga um, ginagawa ng mga successful people. Okay, number two. What time is it na? Let's check. Okay, seven minutes. Okay. Pera, number two ta- tip ko is pera ay dapat nagtatrabaho sa'yo at hindi ikaw. Okay, make sense? Nakaka-confused? Oo, nakaka-confused. <laughs> Kasi kapag empleyado ka, focus nga tayo, as I mentioned kanina, focus tayo eh, kung, um, focus tayo sa income na makukuha natin, kasi gusto natin mas malaking income, di ba? Eh, gusto ko na mag-resign kasi gusto ko mas malaking income, pero, you're not mindsetting correctly, no? Reality check, nag-aral tayo, nag-aral tayo para magtapos, magtapos ng pag-aaral, mag- tapos ng kurso, pero maging empleyado lang. So, magiging magiging boss mo. <laughs> Hindi ka magiging boss ng sarili mong business, but magiging slave, sorry for the term, slave ka talaga. So, ito talaga, pang open talaga to ng mind. No? Number three, i-manage mo ang risk mo at wag mo is- iwasan. Okay? You should be a risk taker. Kasi, di ba, walang, walang nagsasucceed na hindi ka nag-take risk. Okay? So, isa pa, yung bata tayo, tinuruan tayo sa bahay, sa school na huwag magkakamali. Bawal magkamali. Naku, bakit mo ginawa yan? Dapat ganito, ganyan. It's okay to have mistakes, to take failures. Kasi nga, failure is also a process, no? It's included in our process. So, we have to take risk. Okay? Sa negosyo, mas mataas yung risk mo, mas maganda. <laughs> so, you have to invest. Okay? Huwag ka matakot na mas scam. I mean, syempre, you should be knowledgeable with regards to what are you getting into. Okay? ba? Diba? So, alam mo naman kung modus-modus lang yun or ano ba yun. ba? Diba? Research on that. Okay? Sabi nga ni Rich Dad, take this note. Maganda to. Take this down. Ayan. Sabi ni Rich Dad, often in the real world, it's not the smart who get ab- um, who get ahead, but the bold. Okay, the 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 more confident are you in your business, the more risk taker you are, 
you'll get what you want. So, may sense. May sense at malaki ang sense. So, huwag ka matakot. Mag-indulge. Sabi ng poor dad, okay, think of it. Ha? Keep it safe and never risk. Yan din sabi ng tatay ko dad. <laughs> Ay, na, ng nanay ko. Tatay ko ang risk taker. Um, totoo. Kasi, kung hindi ka mag-risk, nothing will happen. It's like, um, you're in a run race. No? Running, running. Siyempre, kaya ka pumunta sa running race, kaya nga race, kasi you wanted to get an award. You wanted to be recognized, di ba? You wanted to be fit. Pero, anong gagawin mo in order for you to get ahead? Or to start, you have to run. Kailangan mo tumakbo. Kapag hindi ka tumakbo, eh, nga nga. <laughs> Headline ka. May batang hindi, <laughs> hindi, suma, hindi sumunod, ganyan. So, you have to, um, be challenged, no? Be challenged and take the challenge. Get on your feet and run. Run as fast as you can. Parang ganun. So, yun siya. No? Sabi nga dito, um, meron siyang realization na nakakatuwa. So, kung may, kung ikaw ay isang empleyado daw ngayon at, at nag-indulge ka sa business mo, pero hindi mo ginawa yung tamang habits, tamang actions and tamang mindset, for sure, after 5 years, you're trapped in a, ra in a rat race. Ano ibig sabihin na rat race? Ito sa mga empleyado, raise your hands. Okay. Alam ko to, kasi 10 years ko to, memorize ko na yan. <laughs> dun, ako, em dun ako acne sa ano, empleyado. Totoo nga naman. So, sabi nga is, your rat race kasi more on um, realization na kapag nag, nag ano ka, nag, nag income ka, tapos pinasok mo siya sa liability pumasok sa expense doon iikot yung buhay mo parati di ba every sahod mo na lang ganun shocks may naipon akong 5000 pero pangkain sa ka pang ano ko lang siya pang transportation nothing else wala na wala na iwan sa iyo so audit ulit that's what we call rat race okay number 4 Matuto magbenta. Okay, we still have 3 minutes. Matuto tayo magbenta. Huwag tayo maging mahihain. May magkasabi ng, hindi ko kasi, ano yan, eh, genre yan. Hindi, mahihain kasi ako. Pareho tayo, start lang ako, nagmahihain ako. Eh. Ma na ako rin, nahihiya rin ako mag-sales. Pero, always think that there are two kinds of selling. Direct and indirect. Okay? Ang direct, yan yung makikita mo sa Jollibee, sa McDo, na nakikita mo, ha, um, kitang-kita mo na nag-sell. Okay? Ang pangalawa, indirectly. Ano yung indirectly? You're selling yourself. You're not mindful, but you're selling yourself. Let's say, you want to be, um, you want to go and be hired to this company. What do you do? You sell yourself. Diba? You go to their company and then tell them na, uh, I'm, I'm negotiable. <laughs> I'm very team, team, ano, team player, ganyan. I want to be in your team. I want to be in the company, ganyan. Diba? yun ang indirect selling. So, why are you saying na hindi ka magaling mag-sale? Diba? So, think about it. Think it twice, thrice. Magaling ka mag-sell. Kailangan mo lang i-uplift yung sarili mo. Okay? Ito yun. Ito yung connection niya. Number five, magtrabaho para matuto. Hindi kumita lang. So, ito yung mindset na naman na empleyado. Gusto lang natin kumita kapag mataas yung sahod. So, always make sure na yung responsibility mo eh, nagagawan mo na maayos, di ba? Um, ngayon nasa crisis tayo, maraming tao gusto mag, mag-trabaho, hindi mag-business. Ano nangyayari kapag nagatrabaho ka? Gusto mo lang na mataas na kita. Ang sinasabi dito sa book, maling sistema yun, no? Kailangan mo maghanap ng trabaho para mag magbigay sa yun ng mas mataas na, na skill set or confidence sa sarili mo. Kasi kapag dumami yung skills mo sa, sa katawan mo, sorry, ha, nag-struggle, Sa, sa katawan mo, ibig sabihin, you're uplifting yourself, no? Tumadami yung skills mo, which is a very positive attitude na kailangan mo sa business na to. Katulad ni Robert, um, isa siyang marine officer na biglang um, gusto na niya mag-indulge sa business, no? Um, nag, naging employee siya ng Xerox company and then natuto siya mag-networking, selling, um, marketing na, na nagamit niya sa mga negosyo niya. ba? Bright people um, makes 
um, things possible din siya. Okay, ito na lang po ang uulitin ko po yung five tips ko, no? <clears throat> okay. One tip number one, bumili ng assets at hindi liabilities. Number two, pera ang dapat nagtatrabaho sa iyo at hindi ikaw. Number three, imagine, sorry, manage ang risk at huwag iwasan. Number four, matutong magbenta. Number five, magtrabaho para matuto, hindi para kumita lang. Ito ang realization that I will, um, sana ma-inculcate sa mind nyo. Maging realization do sa inyo. Sa tingin nyo ba, ang attitude, habits, time management, mindset mo ngayon, is enough para lumago ka yung business mo. Gusto mo bang umasenso o at kung at makita mo nakakamit mo yung success mo sa buhay. 'Di ba mas maganda 'yun? So, ang sabihin ko na lang po, ibig sabihin, gawin natin yung kaya natin gawin. Whatever it takes. <clears throat> at i-implement mo 'yan sa buhay mo every day para gumaling at i-share mo yan sa ibang tao para maging naman bountiful ang buhay mo no? I'll leave uh, a verse, Bible verse um, for you guys to read, that's Psalm chapter 20 verse 4 always if you're reading a Bible um, read it twice or thrice sa second sa third mo, mamememorize mo yan and then close your eyes para maramdaman mo yung linya okay May He give you the desire of your heart and make all your plans succeed. In Jesus' name, claim mo na yan. Amen. And I would like to tee up the other mentor that is very courageous. 2019 na siya nag-start ng I Am Worldwide and then full-time na siya this January. That's uh, Mentor Bobski. Um, he is also uh, good in say- selling. So, marami, tayo ma- marami siya may embark sa atin. So, uh, I'll see you guys soon. Thank you for 33 million who viewed this ano, this um, live forecast. God bless and amazing morning everyone. Bye-bye po.